the initial height, we will measure the release point or where Dan throws the ball. We'll time how long it takes the ball to hit the ground. We'll do this 10 times and find that average. Left the equation about 
fill in their t values, and then plus there. And then I move the 12 over here so you get negative 5 and a third is equal to 0. The equation is equal to 0. And then I just took this and plugged it into the quadratic formula, which we know is negative b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So from there, we can find that the t, the time in which it takes to be 12 feet tall, is going to be 3.66 seconds and 0.09 seconds. When the ball is at its local max, or the highest point on, on the parabola, it is 63 feet up in the air. This occurs at 1.87 seconds from the time that it, is, that it is released. Also in our graph you will see a tangent line. The slope of this tangent line is equivalent to the instantaneous speed at that point in time on the graph. Again, the reason for the y-intercept not to be zero is because we are releasing the ball at six and two-thirds feet above the ground.